What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you the best way to cut out hair and fur in Photoshop CC 2020. So let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is James and if it's the first time to this channel and you want to learn all about Photoshop, Lightroom and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Now today guys we're going to be talking about how to cut out really difficult objects like animals with like fur, coats or even hair and we're going to be using a really cool brush that I've made. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open Photoshop and then you want to find an image uh, that you want to cut out that uh, requires hair. Now what you want to do is you want to load, uh, I've got a bunch of brushes so if you want to go to the link uh, on the screen that you see at the moment or if you go down into the description I've also got the link there, what it will do is it will take you to these brushes. So I've got uh, three brushes that I've made, one for fine hair regular hair and then I've got one for thick hair or we can also treat these with fur as well and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be cutting out the edge of this coat here so what I'm going to do is show you how just how to quickly download these uh, these uh, brushes that I've made so if you want to go to go ahead uh, select the little icon at the top here and then you want to go all the way down and you want to go to import brushes and then you want to what you do is download the brushes that I've got in that link and then you'll be able to import them here and this is what they look like so they're called fever fur brushes and we've got three brushes to choose from but firstly what we're going to need to do is make a clipping path so what you can do is either use uh, the quick selection tool or you can use the pen tool that's the tool I'm going to be using today but you can use a variety of tool all we need to do is just make a quick selection around the subject Brilliant, so once you've made the selection, uh, what you want to do is go ahead and select it. So you can either, if you've done the path tool like I've done, if you just want to command click in your path layer, you come up with the marching ants. And then what you want to do is create a um, layer mask. So I'm just going to add a little bit of feather to this image. And then what you want to do is just go ahead and duplicate the image and then create a layer mask. So we end up with an image very similar to this. Now, because obviously we've got all the hair around the edge of the kind of coat at the top here near the hood, we're going to have to use one of the brushes to create a nice kind of feathered look uh, to make it look realistic. So what we want to do is go ahead and select the brush tool. So we can go ahead, select it on the left hand side and then you want to go to your brush presets. So we've got it on the left hand side here. And then what we can do is we're going to select one of the brushes that we've got here. So I'm going to be selecting thick fur because I think it's quite uh, this hair is quite thick and then what we're going to do is just run along the edge of the brush so they've got the edge along here what we can do is we can place a solid color behind the uh, background so we can see what we're uh, what we're cutting out uh, make sure you've got your opacity up to uh, 100% uh, and then you want to kind of run it along just the edge of the coat here to get that kind of brushed look. I think I'm going to start on the left hand side and then work my way around. Again you can change the size of the brush at any time to get that look that you are after. And then once you've uh, got to a place where you're happy, what I'd do is I'd just increase the brush to quite a large amount and just add a few kind of odd little bits in here and there to make it look a little bit less patterny uh, because this brush sometimes has a, a tendency of just adding in just a few too many uh, and just make it look a little bit more organic by just adding a few little kind of lines because obviously hair is... Uh, uh, is quite flowing so sometimes you can just add in a few little bits and bobs just to make it look a little bit less textured so there we go I think we're happy with there so what we're going to do now is I'm going to add in a background so I'm just going to make this image ever so slightly larger 
So I think we'll increase the crop slightly. And then we'll do that. Brilliant. So now as we've uh, we've cut this subject out, it's looking really, really good. What we could do is drag in a new background. So we've got a, got a little snowy scene here. And then what we're going to do is place this behind the subject. So we'll place it about here and then we'll make it slightly larger. There we go. I'm quite happy with that. Having to just look at the edge of the where the hair is. Looks really, really natural. And I'm really happy with how it's looking. So I'm just going to add in a curves layer, darken the background slightly. Go, and then I'm going to bring it over, copy of the layer, bring it over to the front. I'm going to place it on, I think I'm going to place it on screen, and then lower the opacity to around 30%. And I'm going to create another layer mask, and I'm just going to get rid of some of the slightly stronger snow on the front near the hair. And there we go, guys. That is how you use my brush tool to create a really cool and really good effect of cutting out either fur or hair in your Photoshop file. And there we go guys, I hope that was really helpful on how to cut out really difficult fur and hair edges on either subjects or animals. Again guys, if you want to use the brushes that I have used in this uh, tutorial, they'll be down in the link description, you can download them from there, it's really easy and they're free. Also guys, if you want to see more kind of tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. But until next time guys, keep creating.